Hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, my handsome. Good morning, my prince. How are you? Is he handsome? <laughs> you are so handsome. There are some really neat low-flying aircrafts this morning. I think this guy is actually either training someone or practicing takeoff and landings, but it is so cool. It looks like he's landing in the middle of the desert. Not something you see every day, and it's actually been really neat to watch. And it's not loud. It's fun. It's about 10.30 this morning. <clears throat> I just brushed my teeth, wiped my face off, um, and put on my sunscreen. So I, I spilled Winston's cup of water on this blanket last night. It still has to dry just a little bit. But now it's time to make my bed. It's such a glorious morning. High of 80 today, 74 tomorrow, and then I think Friday is going to be like 55, 55 and rainy, but I talked to a slew of my friends yesterday, and I think most of them are arriving tomorrow. So the plan is still, oh, it's okay, Bubba, just someone, somebody running. We don't have to write them a ticket. Okay, you don't need to collect any tolls. It's okay. This is a toll-free dirt road, sir. There's no tolls on this road, sir. All right, son, thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah, I appreciate your awareness. So I think most of my friends will arrive tomorrow. My plan is still to go into town in the morning, get anything I might need because I don't want to leave camp this weekend with the rain and the meetup happening. My son. Okay. That's enough, please. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'll need much in town, but I figure I'll shower before I go into town so I can top off my water, dump my trash, and get, I think I'll probably get something at the, at the grocery store for the meetup, you know, like snacks or something so I can contribute. It's been fun seeing all the, the small planes go overhead today because the airport's right next next to us. But we're at least a mile away at where we're camping right now. We're at least a mile away from the meetup. So we'll have to relocate. And I think the group of us decided we're going to kind of be in like a small group right outside the main meetup spot. I'm so excited. Good boy. Thank you. So this is my morning routine stuff. Doing all my cleaning, making the bed, putting out my solar. Last night, oh my gosh, I slept so well. Last night, the weather was like perfect. It was like 55 degrees, which is perfect sleeping weather for me and kiddo. I played my djembe a little bit last night, which was awesome. Oh, there's that red plane again. I think they're practicing takeoff and landing. I'm gonna shave my legs today, that's on my agenda. And let's see what else here. Okay, I think that's good for now. It really is so beautiful here with the green 
ground. And it's so clear today. I have so many friends on their way down south. I am just like so stoked to hang out with everybody. Today I've been cleaning up the van, charging up my power stations, just all of the normal things. Tomorrow morning I decided I'm going to shower before I go into town so I can use some of my water and fill up. And then hang out with everybody as they arrive, or begin to arrive. Since we will be experiencing rain this weekend, I want to share something that actually was my mom's idea. So if you have wet shoes or um, like, like when my sandals get wet in the rain, what I do is I actually put them in these work booties. So one booty goes on a foot, but I can fit my pair of sandals in one work booty. It, uh, another option you can get are shower caps and you can just purchase those at the dollar store. But my mom and I had so many of these from when we've been working on her trailer in Payson. She, she was like, why don't you take a whole bunch of these? You can put wet stuff in them like your shoes when it's raining. So that's my little, uh, helpful tidbit. But like I said, uh, shower caps make a great option for wet shoes as well. I keep these sticky gel pads in my tool bag. I've used them for a variety of projects over the years, but I just took one and I cut a little piece. I just used my heavy duty scissors to do that. And I put it on the back of my little indoor thermometer and just stuck it to my van. What I love about these is that they don't leave any residue, but they hold up to five pounds. So I don't really like that it's covering my sticker, but I just thought that that was a good, um, good spot for it so it is it does have a magnet on it but I don't have anywhere to stick it and it does have a little stand but I just want it on the wall of my van so I just stuck it right on there and if I decide I want to move it I can move it I did end up shifting my thermometer just a little bit up because I didn't want it to be covering my Jolly Roger but that's a great spot for it I'm happy that I finally did that because I've been thinking about it so I just needed to do it and then I stuck my rain booties right here for Friday because what I typically do since I wear my slides all the time, as you guys know, I have multiple pairs of slides. I will just kind of get in my van, take them off, and then I'll put them in a booty and leave them right here because they're bound to get wet and muddy since I have to take Winston out. And then when it is wet and or muddy, I'll put an extra towel on the bed for Winston. Hi, are you having a good day? You just cleaning your toes? Is it toe time? What a good clean boy. Mmm, that's a tasty bone. Do I'm gonna move the toys out of your way? No? Okay. All right, since people are arriving early, we decided to move to the meetup location and get a spot because there is not a lot of space around here for everybody. So we are going to have to pack it in and act like we love each other. Here's Justin. And then we have probably like space for two rigs between us and we can kind of stagger them since we're expecting a lot of friends. The meetup is taking place down the road a little bit, but that's okay. We needed to find a spot for everybody. I just met Dave next door. Actually, the neighbors on either side of me uh, know me from YouTube, so that's nice. I already made friends. And Winston is just eating dinner in his penthouse while we wait for other friends to get here. So there's JJ, Justin, Lister. Maddie and Justin, and then we will have more rigs kind of like in front of us staggered and uh, between us. So I'm going to wrap up this video, be looking for some fun content this weekend. Like and subscribe. I will see you next time.